All right, so this is the um, this is the photograph of the West Mill Road as I knew it. Uh, to the left uh, was the mill. Uh, to the right was the large warehouse where they stored the Sparto grass, and I, I think that was a, a product that was used to make the paper. And where the cars are in the photograph, there used to be a stable, and round the back was a horse and cart. I don't know who owned it. Um, and towards the end of the picture to the left is where the furnaces were. And there was a large gate, uh, and then that's where the restaurant is as it is today. But anyway, by special request, this is the boy's story, and, and, and it's a true story because um, when you're a teenager, you're, you're allowed out at night. Um, not too late, but um, anyway, late enough to, to get into a wee bit of mischief. And the paper mill at last, Wade, had some sections working 24 hours a day. And in one particular place was the furnaces, we call them the furnaces, where they would burn off um, items. And there used to be one guy there, and we would climb up the lamp post and over into the yard and, and make faces at them, you know, <laughs> try and catch me. And uh, he would chase us like buggery. Up the ladders we would run over the steel girders and we would drip down into the laneway where the restaurant was and just rush away. And we were always coming back and forward, you know, some nights, the, the odd nights here and there. And uh, But one night, though, I slipped and he caught me he and a mate with him, and I'll never forget it, because they took me into the furnace room, and, and he opened the door to the blazing furnace, and he told me, I'm sick of you kids annoying me. Yeah, so he took me to the furnace, and he's, you know, and he's, he's screaming, I'm really, I'm sick of you kids. And he grabbed me by the scruff of the neck, and he grabbed my trouser bottom, and he was swinging me back and forward. One, two, Three, and I could see the furnace, you know, and I screamed like buggery, and of course, he let me go. And the men that were in stitches were laughter, and I just run for it. My breeks were manky, honestly. They were f full of fresh shite. I tell you, it was dripping down my legs, man. Honest, honest. We never did venture to that part of the mill again. Well, sometimes we would pass the part of the wall where we would climb up, and now they had it all greased up with thick, thick grease, which made it impossible to climb up anyway. But the mill, the mill was our playground all the time. There was bales of asparto grass and paper shredded. They were all stored in that big shed, and you can jump from bale to bale without the fear of, you know, hurting yourself, because it was always a soft landing. Anyway, it's just a wee story for a laugh.